The Resurrectionist's Apprentice. Mother tells me not to go in the graveyard. She also tells me not to go walking at night. So today I'm breaking two of her rules. My friend, the full moon, hangs in the sky, watching to make sure I don't trip on the swollen roots, knotted thorns, knife-point fence spikes. Thank you, moon, I sing out. I'll repay you later. I skip between the labyrinth of tombstones and crying angels. Why are you sad? I ask them. Mother always tells me to try and understand how other people are feeling. They don't answer. Then, in the distance, I hear someone whistling. I think I heard the song on the radio once. I run towards it. Could be a ghost, I think to myself. I met a ghost once, but it phased through the wall before I could say hello. But when I turn the corner, all I find is a wiry man in a tweed jacket and glasses. He holds a shovel and whistles as he digs, throwing up a heap of dirt next to him. Hello, I shout. What's your name? He stops to peer at me before handing me a business card. It reads, Anglicite Rutherford Hart, Resurrectionist. He continues what he was doing. Why are you digging? I ask. He grins, teeth as a shark's. I will end death itself, he says. I will remake myself piece by piece until I am whole. <laughs> <clears throat> He seems on the verge of a bout of maniacal laughter, but restrains himself. Why are you doing it at night? He adopts a mocking voice. Because it's not allowed. Because theft is morally reprehensible. I nod solemnly. I know what it's like to not be allowed. He pauses digging and looks at me. How would you like a job? 